So I thought we'd answer some questions from the young men. Good. We're always looking for Ask Dr. Betty. They're like, Dear Dr. Betty, <laughs> what happens if you last too long in bed? So the men who can go a long time before ejaculating or have difficulty ejaculating in a vagina, the girlfriend internalizes it. I know I did. Well, when I was younger. Because that means that you aren't sexy enough or you weren't good enough to get him off, and it's all about making our, our boyfriends happy. Yes. Otherwise, what? They'll kill us? We end up wanting to kill well, them. Well, you want to please. and But it took me a while, and then I got like, why do I care if he ejaculates inside me? I'm not trying to have a baby. That's the only time it matters. Now, if you really like sex mm -hmm. and like fucking... You want them to last. Yes. <laughs> you want them to last a long time, but if you don't, and you know you're not going to have an orgasm, and he's committed to making you come, then, then you, it can get it. You want to get it over with. So yeah, that's where the woman goes. Uh uh uh, fakes an orgasm, and it's over. True. That's one scenario. What about the scenarios where a young man can't ejaculate in a vagina? Because he's been using his hand in hard friction and pornography uh -huh. Uh -huh. to orgasm during masturbation. He has to recondition himself. A flush light. Yeah. You need to simulate yeah. people. The young men, we were talking about this before, who write in and say, my girlfriend's vagina is too loose. It's not that it's too loose. It's too soft. Yes. And they're not getting any friction. And the hand is hard. It's uh -huh. bony. There's a lot of friction there. Yeah. <laughs> So get a masturbation sleeve that feels like a vagina, the silicones, like the fleshlight, and then... Rumor has it. Yeah. It's better than the real thing. Well, I mean, it doesn't speak. <laughs> so, I mean... You don't have to take it to dinner. <laughs> you won't have to marry it. They've sold like two million of them, so they must work. Yeah. So you always say how you masturbate is how you have partner sex. Yes, that's the basis of how you have sex with a person. Absolutely. True, true. But what about the women that take it personal when a man can't ejaculate in their vaginas? And I know I did in my 20s. I did. And then I got it. And I was like, you idiot. No risk of, you know, the risk of STIs and STD goes down. Well, you don't have to worry about getting pregnant. You got off. What do you care if he gets off? You have failed as a woman because he should be so turned on to you that he ejaculates inside. That is the big symbol of the man is finished. Get over it. Just do it for as long as it feels good and then do something else. And if he can't come, do manual. And if you don't want him to jerk him, so then jerk him yourself. We or blow so, him or do something else. We have such a strict script for <laughs> sex. And a lot of it's coming from porn. Some of it, and in the romantic myths, I think it's like the orgasm myths that, well, you know, like... It's always going to be simultaneous, and it's going to be penis vagina, and it's going to, you know... And the heavens will open up when you have your <laughs> orgasm. At the end of the day, how he comes doesn't define me. And if you get to that place, then sex becomes fun. Wouldn't that be nice? You know? If it isn't fun, why would we want to do it? I mean, it's so much more than... It's broken. so much fun to watch... A man ejaculate that if my boyfriend was like I would come and we'd have penetration and then he would jerk off and I could watch I would love that well we did that we did that a lot in, uh, with, yeah. in group sex a lot jacking off oh it was great and I mean come on I'm now running workshops where women all all the women masturbate unless you're having a baby it doesn't matter <laughs> when somebody is masturbating or the guys jacking off you are watching authentic sex. That's and hot about During partner sex, very often you are watching something theatrical. Or you're distracted by your own pleasure and your own orgasm. When they're just jerking up and you're just watching. You're the audience. There's, there's the performer. And then you can oh, stimulate during, your clitoris. During partner sex, we're the performers. Yeah. If you just get rid of all that crap. Uh, uh, I have, he has to know that this is wonderful. And then I, oh, it's, you know. Anytime that you try to force something or put pressure on something, it, you suck the fun right out. Yeah. And then they're never going to ejaculate in vagina. Could we just have some fun? And what if you flipped it? What I would do, my dirty talk, was would all be about how we can't come in my vagina. 
Oh, you're a bitch. I would be like, don't you dare think about coming in my vagina with that disgusting, yeah, dirty no, dick of yours. No way. The no message is very much of a turn on. I remember the first time, I think it was Grant, who said, I don't want you to come. No. I'm you come in two seconds. Oh. <laughs> don't come. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sex is about play. Intercourse, I mean, I know at some point you're going to want to maybe have a baby. But in the meantime, there are going to be thousands and thousands of intercourses, fucking, where you don't want to have anything except orgasms and pleasure. However yeah. you get them. However. <laughs> and there's a vast range of, of what can take place. So try to think of having sex with your partner as a dance. Mm. It's just delightful. It's, and it doesn't matter who comes, when you come, how you come, whether or not you both come, whether you... Yeah, forget it. Just enjoy the feelings, okay? Play. <laughs>